I'd like to announce the entry of two uh, scholars, two talented scholars into the AP. Both are Cambridge graduates. One, Dr. Ong Kian Ming, 37, still young. Compared to me, definitely still young. You will look at it relatively. Dr. Ong Kian Ming got a first class honours in economics from London School of Economics, did his master's in Cambridge and his PhD in Duke University. Also a scholar, Fulbright scholar, ASEAN scholars, and of course, a leading political analyst in Malaysia. The other one is Miss Yo Bi Yin. Uh, she is a girl from Johor Sagamat, first class honours in chemical engineering from UTP, University Technology Petronas, a Petronas scholar, uh, uh, of course, and a, a top class engineer. And also, she got her uh, master's in advanced chemical engineering from Cambridge University, a Gates Cambridge scholar. I mean, she was a scholar from Bill Gates, Bill and Melinda Gates, part of the Gates Foundation, the founder of Microsoft. And so far, only they have there are only nine recipients of the Gates Cambridge scholar. So she's an all expert. And uh, we are very pleased to have her. For Dr. Ong, uh, we will be asking him to help the party, to help the Secretary General on election strategy. For Ms. Yeo, because she is an expert in the social media strategy, we also ask her to help us in crafting a social media strategy so that we can reach out not only to the younger voters but to Twitter Jaya, to the internet, uh, the net citizen. I think our country is at a very important uh, critical juncture uh, whereby there's been a lot of uh, transformation programs rolled out by our Prime Minister uh, Najib. And from my uh, analysis on various uh, important issues to do with the ETP, to do with the GTP, to do with electoral reform, uh, I found that many of these uh, initiatives done by the Prime, our Prime Minister is a lot of publicity and very little uh, substance. And that's one of the main reasons why I think uh, it's uh, time for me to uh, join politics and to uh, uh, leave the sidelines, so to speak, of uh, academia and of uh, being a political analyst. Uh, to bring about positive change uh, to the country by changing the regime that uh, is currently in power in the federal government. At the same time, I've, all, I've also been very encouraged by uh, the fact that we have, for the first time in Malaysian history, a credible opposition coalition, and we've seen how uh, the opposition coalition has governed uh, with uh, transparency, with uh, competency, with responsiveness, and also with accountability in the states of, uh, especially in the states of Penang as well as Lamo. And once I made the decision to uh, join opposition politics to bring about positive uh, change in this country through changing the government at the federal uh, level, uh, the choice of the DAP was a very easy one. I very firmly believe in the principles of uh, secularism that is promoted by the DAP of promoting uh, fair, uh, and a tr a transparent uh, government to, uh, to fight corruption uh, and also to uh, fight for equity and justice for all Malaysians regardless of race, religion or background. Uh, not only uh, the reporters but uh, a lot of friends and uh, family members who ask me this, why do we want to join politics now? Why do we want to be uh, at, at this stage? And uh, uh, my mom has so rightly asked this question and said, uh, you can have a very decent and comfortable life now already. Uh, why choose such a hard life? Um, I think uh, the reason is very clear is that uh, because I love Malaysia and I really want to see that uh, Malaysia is a better place. And Malaysia deserves to be a better place. Um, I have, uh, through my years overseas, I've met just so many uh, young and bright Malaysians uh, that have left home for better opportunities overseas. And they still miss Nasi Lama, Lita and everything. But, uh, you know, if you ask to contribute to the nation, they will say no. Because you have much better opportunities overseas. 
uh, if all this of this continue, I think we will soon reach a point of no return. Uh, that's why I decided to make a change. I decided to come back and make a change in Malaysia.